So, last night, I tried to do another public domain movie night. You know, something kind of relaxing. Nice, funny, have a little bit of fun. Sit back with some mates, make fun of the movie. And then, this happened. While we were watching the movie, for some reason, it got cut off. So, looking at the email, trying to figure out what's going on, Check the email, we got this. So apparently, Jack and the Beanstalk, 1952, is copyrighted content of Abbott and Costello, and I'm not going to read that because my Portuguese is horrible. Um, it was struck by Encrypta in Brazil. Now, here's the funny thing. Um, I'm in the U.S., I was streaming to a U.S. server, through a U.S. ISP, to a U.S. owned and held and operating company called YouTube. So, nowhere close to Brazil. So, doing a little bit of research, Encrypta traces back to this company. Now, look at that. Content management, content processing, video platform. Hmm. That kind of smells of a copyright troll operation to me. So I did a little bit of research into the law itself. Well, according to the Berne Convention for Protection of Literary and Artistic Works, uh, no, the movie is protected under uh, public domain. In fact, it went into public domain in the U.S. first, and... Uh, According to that, it falls under country of origin, so there's no way that legally Encrypta could even flag the video, because one, it's not even the same damn movie. And digging in, let's look at country of origin. Well, country of origin relies on the concept of, uh, the convention relies on the concept of country of origin uh, in order to determine, so who technically has, you know, the copyright and copyright uh, you know, jurisdiction, so on and so forth. So the first country to file copyright, or the first country in which the copyright is filed, is the country of origin. So it kind of runs into another issue. Um, Brazil? No, but it was originally filed in the U.S. So let's take a look at what uh, Cornell says about this. Well, the movie was done in 1952. Um, it was published with notice, but the copyright wasn't renewed, so it falls under public domain, according to U.S. law and international copyright law. And, by the way, that... Um, that... Uh, Berne Convention? Brazil is a signatory. So, again, not even the same damn title. The stream was blocked in all territories, was pulled from all territories, not just Brazil. And if you dig through Brazilian copyright law, the movie is <laughs> under public domain in Brazil as well. Gee, that's kind of funny. Um, so not only did Encrypta violate YouTube Terms of Service and ignored U.S. copyright law and international copyright law, they ignored uh, copyright law in their own country. So you know what? We're going to leave you with this. In the famous words of Linus Torvalds, so Encrypta... Fuck you. And on that note, fuck this, I'm out of here. And I dare Encrypta to copyright uh, claim this video.